Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Carmichael again. Okay, so now what video we're going to be working on is this worksheet 14-2. So it looks like this one. So I want you to go ahead and get this one out. And we're going to go over this one really quick so we can start learning about the minutes now. So again, I have my red and my blue crayon or whatever two crayons you chose. And what I did right away was I went ahead and made my hour hand, which was smaller, the blue, and I colored my minute hand, which is bigger, the red. And that way, right away, when I'm looking at my clock, if I forget, I'm going to remember, oh, yeah, red, that's the minute, and the blue, that's the smaller, that's the hour. So when I'm looking at a clock to tell the time, remember, the first thing I'm looking at is what? The hour hand, which is smaller. First look at the hour, and I see that on ours, the hour hand is pointing here, so your clock on your worksheet looks like this where the hour hand is pointing at the, at the 9, so that's telling me that it's 9. My hour is 9. So where it says hour hand, I'm going to write 9, because that's what it says. And then here, my minute hand is pointing right up at the 12. What do we say that 12 means? O'clock. So I can tell you that it's 9 o'clock. So where it says minute hand, I will put the number 12 because it's asking me what number is it pointing at, but I'm going to tell you that it is 9 o'clock, not 9, 12. Remember that, o'clock. But what's different here is it starts talking about a digital clock. A digital clock does not have two hands. The numbers are written out. So the hour hand or the hour will come first on a digital clock. So here it says 9, 9, that's your hour always going to come first. Your minute hands are going to come next. So in this case, on a digital clock, the two zeros, that is your o'clock. That would be like if your hand was pointing at the 12. So on a digital clock right now, this is telling me it's 9. I won't say 9, zero, zero. I'll say 9 o'clock. So when you're looking at this, it's a little different. Your hour hand comes first but there's no hand, it's just gonna be the number, and the double O means o'clock. So if this was a two, what time would it be? It would be two o'clock. If this was a four, it would be four o'clock. If this was a one, it would be one o'clock. You see, I'm not saying one o'o, I'm saying, I'm not saying 100, I'm saying one o'clock. Okay, so that's the difference on this paper, is we're getting into the digital clock. Some of you don't have this kind of clock at home. Mommy and Daddy might have, or Grandma and Grandpa might have this one, especially on your stove. A lot of our stoves and our ovens have a clock like this, a small one built in, and it'll tell us the time. So here it says, show one o'clock on the clock face. So what I want you to do here is I want you to use your blue crayon first because we always do the hour hand first. So if it says show one o'clock here, where would I put my hour hand here? Would I put it pointing at the 12 if it's one o'clock, the hour hand which is smaller? No, I would put it pointing at the one. And then where would I put that minute hand? I would put that minute hand because it says one o'clock then it would go up at your 12. Remember, so I want you to go ahead and do this one and then have somebody look at it to make sure you did it right. Or you could have mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, whoever has you, take a picture and they could send it to me if you wanted to show me. I'm okay with that. That would be fun to see your work. And then down here at the digital clock. Remember, this is the same thing as up here. So if they want you here, it says, draw the minute hand. Okay, we did that one. Show one o'clock on the digital clock. So. What number is going to come first? Is the minute hand going to come first? No, don't you say yes. The hour hand comes first, so you better be putting a what? If it says 1 o'clock, what number would go there? That's right, a 1. What numbers go in here for the o'clock on a digital clock? Do you remember what it looks like? Well, if you forgot, look back up at your example. Your two zeros means o'clock on a digital clock. So I want you to make that 1 o'clock in here. And then it says, choose your favorite hour of the day and draw a picture of something you do at that time. And then draw a clock 
with the time. So on the back, you draw a picture of something you like to do. Um, choose your favorite hour of the day, and I want you to draw it. Remember, your hour hand is smaller, your minute hand is bigger, and you're using your two crayons to tell the difference. It really will help you remember them and find them quicker. So use those two crayons, okay? I love you, and um, the next one is going to be on where we're learning about the 30 on the clock. Like when I say it's 2.30 or 1.30, what does that look like on a clock? So that's what we're doing next, okay?